Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video, this time for episode 4 of the latest season of Champions. I want to thank you guys so much for the support on this channel, it's been incredible. Also, starting today, I'll be uploading different kinds of videos, like timelines, quizzes, and other stuff. So in the next 24 hours, you guys should see a new video. When it comes out, I'll have it linked below and above if you guys want to check it out. Please let me know what you guys think about it and what videos you guys want to see from me in the future. Also, in the last video, I included subtitles for Spanish, French, Portuguese, German, and Italian speakers, and a lot of you guys appreciated that. So this time, I also decided to include Arabic subtitles. Please let me know if you guys want to see any other languages, but anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. 800 of the world's most elite footballers and their managers live together under one roof. Players stop being polite and start getting real. This is the Champions. I never suck up to the front office because I'm too cold for school. I'm not throwing a secret party. But if you want to come to a secret party, you know who to ask. Benzema doesn't pass me the ball too much. At least he treats me better than he treats Balbuena. Wow. If these injuries keep up, I might have to play center back. So here we have a couple of small references. First we see a reference to Chelsea coach Tuchel who refuses to bow down to any front office, which ultimately led to his dismissal from PSG. Next we see a reference to Kyle Walker secretly having a wild sex party during lockdown, which he admitted to and Manchester City is currently investigating. Next we see a reference to Karim Benzema not treating Vinicius well. This is a reference to a famous clip where Benzema tells Mendy not to pass the ball to Vinicius. But Vinicius does admit that Benzema treats him better than he treats Valbuena, which is a reference to the ongoing investigation that Benzema actually blackmailed Valbuena with his sex tape. This is actually the reason Benzema doesn't play for the French national team anymore. Finally, we see a reference to Liverpool's injury struggles throughout the season, especially at the centre back position. The reason we see LeBron offering to step in is because he's actually a part owner of the Liverpool club. Straight out of Leeds is the big Norwegian Coming for the golden boot of this season Everybody know where the flow can go I'm a left foot and I shoot for goal Alright, cut, cut, let's take a water break So this whole clip is a reference to Holland's real life rap video Which he made when he was only 15 years old But the lyrics all changed to references Including him referencing that he was born in Leeds but is Norwegian he also references that he's in the top 10 in the Golden Boot race this year and is also left footed. Also, a very easily missed detail is Sancho calling for the water break. This could be a reference to the famous Instagram Live clip where fans speculated that Sancho is dropping a Manchester United transfer hint while sipping water in a secret code. Erling and I got a great partnership on the pitch and an even better partnership making rap videos. Yo, Big Earl, that was class, mate. What are you looking at? Yo, no way. Only the coolest players get invited to that group chat. Oh, sick. Yeah, great for you. So here we have a reference to Holland's exponentially growing worth amid the upcoming transfer season as he has catapulted into one of the world's most valuable players right now. The reason Sancho is jealous is because last season many predicted that he would make a similar leap, but unfortunately fell short as Man United felt he wasn't worth as much as people were saying. Oh my god, you have to go. Please let us all let me live through you. But don't go changing on us. Don't worry, I won't. Ami, you have been crushing it lately. It's only a matter of time till you make your big money move. I mean, I did it in 18, but 20 would still be impressive. <laughs> so where you want to play? England? Italy? I would like to- Boring. The real question is, how are you gonna spend all that money? Are you going to get a personal hairstylist, some exotic cars, customized indoor football pitch? You better start thinking about the trophy cabinet right now. Oh, hey, Erling. Oh, hey. So here we see a ton of references. Firstly, standing outside the mall, we see David Beckham, Iguain, and Matuidi, all of whom made big money moves when they first came onto the soccer scene. Inside the mall, we see Kai Havertz, Paulo Dybala, Paul Pogba, Alfonso Davies, Antoine Griezmann, Sadio Mane, Phil Foden, and finally Mbappe. All young players who have also made big money moves for big contracts. 
Also, while all these players are interrogating Haaland, we see a few more references, including Mbappe saying that 20 is still impressive, a reference to Mbappe getting his big contract at only 18 years old. We also see an easy reference to Pogba constantly changing hairstyles, with him asking Haaland if he'll get a personal hairstylist. You going to get a personal hairstylist? Some also, an incredibly easily missed detail is the names of the shops in the background. First, we see a store for sharper scrimmages, as well as a store called the Jeans of Zizou, a reference to Zidane who wore incredibly tight and long skinny jeans to his Real Madrid press conference. Also, Haaland's outfit full of the 100 emoji is a reference to the hoodie he actually wore when he filmed his old music video. Finally, we see the Dortmund players eating outside Bayern King, a reference both to the popularity of pretzels in Germany, but also the famous American pretzel shop Antiani's. This is actually not the first time we see Bayern King, as it made an appearance in the first episode of season 4. You seem bothered by this whole expensive AFFC thing. Oh, why? Because Pogba invited me to the movies last summer, then I never heard back from him, and now he pretends like he didn't get my text. So, uh, we were just going to the arcade, but since we're all here, maybe we can go together. Psh, arcades are for little clubs. Come on, guys. We're not little. We're like the second biggest club in Germany. Ellen, you're going to let him talk about your club like that? Sorry guys, I need to think about my future. I need to think about big money moves. An easily missed detail in the background of the last shot includes a reference to the German club FC St. Pauli, with their store referencing the American store Hot Topic. We also see a reference to the VAR, with the arcade's name being VAR Kate. Man, Erling's getting so popular, next thing you know he'll be on the cover of a video game. Well, something's bound to happen when you score 20 Champions League goals in 14 appearances. Assists are important too, you know! Stop hitting him. One more yellow card, you out of the ball pit. Okay, everybody out! The arcade is closed for a private party! What? You can't do that! Marco Ross is going for a high score! I've been playing here forever! Here we see a few more references, with Hummels taking care of the Dortmund kids, which is really just their youth academy, as well as Sancho screaming assist matter too, a reference to him assisting a lot of Haaland's goals. We also see an easy reference to Marco Royce, who screams that he's been playing here forever, a reference to the fact that he's been playing for a little under a decade for Dortmund, but he's failed to win or break any real records there. What are you doing here? I thought you didn't even like arcades. Well, we like spending money, and the day rate on this place is ridiculous. It's the flex. Oh, oh bullying. This is straight up bullying. Tell you what, we'll play you for it. If any of you can beat any of us, we'll leave. Bring it, bruv. All right, bon frere. Let's show Dortmund who is boss. So here we see a ton of small, easily missed references in this montage of Dortmund players getting destroyed by the rich players. First we see a reference to Davies' insane speed as he gets a perfect score in whack a ref, a reference of course to the game whack mole. Next we see a reference to Griezmann's superior celebration skills as he destroys Royce in a celebrate revolution game. Finally a very easy missed detail is when Pogba wins the ski ball game where the World Cup trophy appears, a reference to the fact that France won the last World Cup final. Also in the background, throughout this entire sequence, we have references hidden in the arcade games, which are all conveniently placed in one panning shot. Firstly, we see a reference to Space Invaders with a game called Pitch Invaders, where it looks like a fan has to run through a row of players. After that, we see a reference to Tome Raider with Trophy Raider, as well as Mario Kart with Name Mario Kart. 
Past that, we see a game called House of Suarez. That's a very easy misreference to the 1990s arcade game called House of the Dead, where a player has to shoot through zombies who are trying to bite you to infect you. This is obviously a reference to Suarez, who, like the zombie dead, also tries to bite people. After that, we see a reference to Sonic the Hedgehog, with Neymar the Ball Hog, as well as a game called Don't Lose the Dressing Room, with Mourinho as the cover. This is a reference to Mourinho losing the locker room with Spurs, leading to his dismissal. Finally, after that, we see a Super Goaltron game, a reference to the season finale of Season 4, where the goalkeepers build the Goaltron to defend the Earth from an incoming meteor. None as Goaltron. Goaltron? You're so annoying! Stay back! Stay back! Well, looks like we beat all of you. Guess you just got relegated from the arcade. <laughs> hey! You didn't beat all of us. Hmm. It has all come down to this. Let's see what you've got, Holland. So here we have a final reference to an arcade game with Goat Fighter instead of Street Fighter, where the two primary fighters are Ronaldo and Messi. We see a quick reference both to the fact that these players are super rich and that arcades are expensive, with the game costing a million euros to play. Also, when scrolling through the characters, we see the iconic Street Fighter selection screen with the map above, but also a very easy misreference to the most iconic Street Fighter character, Ryu. You know that guy who makes a fireball while yelling Hadouken? Messi is standing in the same pose as that guy, with his fireball being the iconic puppet which is a recurring joke in Champions, with Messi using his puppet to do the speaking for him. Also an easy misreference is to Haaland choosing Messi while Mbappe chose Ronaldo. This could be a reference to the fact that Haaland is more quiet and humble like Messi, whereas Mbappe is more loud and flashy like Ronaldo. Jane can't handle their speed! So here in the sequence we have two references. First we see an easy reference to both Mbappe and Haaland being incredibly fast, with the speeds eventually breaking the game. We can also see a very easy missed detail when both are electrocuted, with Haaland's skeleton being a robot while Mbappe is a human skeleton. This is a reference to the fact that Haaland's nickname is the Terminator, which is a robot who had human skin but a robot skeleton. Erling! You're right. Sorry, I broke the machine, guys. No, mate. You were just standing up for us. I'm sorry for getting jealous. It's okay. You're still my strike partner. So, I guess you're still one of us? Yes. Until I get sold, yes, I'm one of you. Damn, Biggie. You're even better than I thought. We should start our own group chat that's like, just us. We call it, Goats of Tomorrow. Okay, cool. This could be the beginning of a beautiful rivalry. This game's really on its last legs, huh? Yeah, let's get it out of here to make room for some new stuff. So here we have two final references. First, we see the coach of Barcelona and Juventus pack up the Goat Fighter game, saying that it's on its last legs, a reference to the fact that both Messi and Ronaldo are getting close to their retirement age. Also in the background, we see an easy misreference with another arcade game called Park the Bus with Mourinho, a reference to Mourinho's famous tactic of parking the bus on defense. And that, I think, is the final Easter egg in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the new series, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.